Today we're going to be having hot pot on sticks. It's called Tran Tran and it's basically hot pot, but instead of you getting the ingredients and like just putting it in and taking it out with chopsticks, the ingredients are on skewers. I thought I would invite one of our favorite people back to have lunch with us today. One of our favorite people. One of our favorite people. There he is. There he is. Who's him? Yay! Yay! Bang! Bang! So we're having Chuan Chuan. Chuan Chuan. Chuan Chuan is what? Chuan Chuan is to put a lot of delicious things in a bowl and put it in the pot 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 and put it in the pot. So to figure out what that difference actually is, today's food adventure brings us to Chuan Chuan Hot Pot here in Sydney, Chinatown. Doing. So the good thing about Tran Tran as compared to you know your regular hot pot is that you can come here and order sticks and each stick is essentially one mouthful of food. So you can come get a whole variety of different dishes whereas at hot pot you get a plate of food, a plate of beef, a plate of scallops, a plate of fish, whatever and you have to kind of commit to having at least a certain amount of each food but here at Tran Tran you can just have one mouthful of each thing so it's more variety, more options, you could come here and eat all different things and it's also good to get out of your comfort zone maybe if you're not willing to commit to a whole plate of cow stomach just get one little mouthful um, and that might be a, a little bit easier for you to pardon the pun stomach so when it comes to hot pot you aren't limited to one choice of soup base you can choose two or even three and today we did just that we ordered one segment of the traditional spicy soup it's hot it's mouth numbing we also got one segment of the tomato and oxtail soup which is a fantastic non-spicy option and to mix it up a bit we also went for one segment of the boiled fish with pickled cabbage and chili soup base so we've got three different hot pots in one big hot pot so we get some Sample different flavors. Like I love spicy food, but I have no problem admitting that when I come to hot pot, I generally like to have at least a yuan yuan guo with two options, one spicy, one non-spicy, because it can get a bit overwhelming if you just continuously are eating the spicy hot pot. So it's good to have that option, but I know that my friends from Chongqing or Sichuan, so we've got the spicy one, the pickled vegetable and fish one, and the tomato one. So here we are at the refrigeration station. It's kind of like mala tongue, you can choose what it is and you can see it in front of you. So how many of these are we getting? Okay, don't worry about getting it all in one go. You can always come back. I sort of want to try a little bit of everything. I mean, well, you can do that. The chicken feet. I really like the chicken feet, so I'm going to get chicken foot. Yep. And I, I want to get a chicken wings. Ooh, yummy. Sure, chicken gizzards. What are you getting, Garen? Mala ji pi. I feel like I'm drooling. I'm like, 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 I'm We've got, we've got chili beef, we've got pepper beef, we've got garlic beef, I've got cumin beef, I've got beef with pepper, I've got beef with pineapple, I've got capsicum with beef. I'm having a beefgasm and it's great! I'm, I'm following um, Garen's example. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, so... And Garen said this is just step one. He's going to get to step eight. Okay. Have um, you got any veggies there? Um, this is all just me. <laughs> If people know me. There's only so much real estate. Like, how do they know how much it costs altogether? Jia Zhang, you don't understand? I don't understand. You guess how much it costs. You guess how much it costs. Just make a stick 
Three. So here, every stick costs 79 cents. So to calculate the overall bill, the waiter will basically just count the sticks and add it all up. They charge you by the stick. So yes. every, everything's the same. Everything is the same. Dad's ordered enough yummy looking meats that I think I'm just gonna go for things that I've never tried before in hot pot or chuan chuan. So I'm very curious to try what your tiao dipped in chuan chuan is gonna taste like. Gluten puff, I love gluten. Oh, cognac noodle. These are famously like zero calories. It's healthy. <laughs> I'm curious about this prawn meat with beef. It's like yeah. prawn wrapped in beef, which I think it's looks... surf and turf. Surf and turf. Can't come to Hot Pot without ordering some form of potato. I love potato in Hot Pot. Actually, I'm a big fan of vegetables in Hot Pot because I feel like it Ooh. gets all the flavor and Same. yeah. Order another potato chip. <laughs> another potato. Yep. Some of these. Style of ordering is really fun. It's so good and, and it's great to know that you can come back. It's like a buffet. This must be an exp more expensive meat because every a stick is the same price and there's that much on one stick. So I guess that'll be 79 cents for this one bite of pig's ear. My one looks uh, a health farm compared to yours. So one more important step that we've forgotten and we did it last time we were at Hot Pot. We need to make our sauce. Yes. So it's not just dipping it in the Hot Pot, but you also want to dip it in your self-made sauce. So we're going to go over to the sauce station over here. Okay. And yeah, feel free to create whatever mix you like. Can you um, get one lot or two lots? You can get as many as you like if you want, because we have three Hot Pots. So you might want to have different flavors to match oh. each Hot Pot. You know I've never seen MSG. Oh, they actually have MSG here. Yeah. MSG, you can put MSG in. MSG is great. Is Uncle Roger would be proud. <laughs> Won't show Uncle Roger my fried rice making skills. He'll go, ay yay! We have picked our ingredients. We have picked our sauce. It is time to put it all together and start the show. Step four. Sure. I'm looking forward to step four. I like sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Garlic beef. Going in. Not very nice. This one won't be no, no, with that sauce. The first one, I want to try some tang of the flavor. Okay. Yeah, just like you eat the first and second piece, don't eat the sweet. I want to try some of the flavor. Yeah, because I think it's maybe too many flavors. If you, yeah, I'm quite happy just to have it straight out. Yeah, just like when you meet your friends, you must look at their face when they're smiling. Oh, a lie. Very spicy. Oh my gosh, Karen, are you okay? Douyang, with the hot pot, is perfect. Why? Because it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. So I got my. Oh, yeah. You're very healthy. So much here. Yeah. I'm Baba's more healthy. Baba, one, one cup of vegetables. You want to put in which pot? Ah. Because if you put the vegetables in the hot pot, it will get rid of a lot of hot sauce. So I decided to take Garen's advice, and instead of putting it in the spicy soup, I put my veggies into the tomato and oxtail soup instead. First thing I'm excited to try is the yotiao, and it, as I hoped, it has soaked up all of that. Yummy hot potty goodness. Oh, the tomato soup smells really good. Man, this would be so spicy if you put it straight into the hot, the hot spicy one. You know when you dip bread into soup, into tomato soup. Oh, that's the best. I love that. No, it's quite super delicious. Yeah. Wow. That reminds me. Takes me back. That's like. On Sunday night, having a tomato soup and toast. Yep. And dipping your toast in. So, for anyone out there that has never tried lotus root or have never tried lotus root in hot pot, this is for you. It is so good. It's kind of like potatoey, but it has a slight crunch. It's just a really, really nice texture. I thought the sticks were really, really good. Mm. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 just the. Like they're all they're prepared little mouthfuls that you don't have to you know, do too much to except put in the soup. I think what we should do is reuse the stick 
and skewer the meat. Oops. Maybe not using your fingers, but anyway. And then put it, put it in the thing skewered. And there's here's one I prepared earlier. Ready oh. to come out. I'm putting it in this. I'm doing that. Oh. So today we're here eating Chuan Chuan, but I wanted to explain a little bit more about the actual characters for Chuan Chuan because it's quite interesting. Chuan Chuan. 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 Chuan Oh, okay. So you can see it kind of looks like a, a thing on a stick. Yeah. So the character for what we're eating is literally looks like a thing on sticks. What's this one? That's abalone. I've never had abalone. You've never had abalone? I've never had abalone. Oh my goodness. Okay, so these are abalones here. It's probably like the most, I don't know, prized seafood from yeah. China. So yeah, so this So that's here. how it comes in that shell? That's an abalone, that's shell? An abalone shell? I don't know. Yeah, that's an abalone shell. Is it? Yes. Oh, so it's like an oil, like an oil stone? It's a bit like a limpet. It grows kind okay. of it's sucked up against the rock. And you'll eat it? No, no. no. <laughs> you have to cook it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I am not. I've had abalone before, but to be honest, it's not one of like the main seafoods that we would eat here in Australia. I think we would go more for salmon, prawns. I don't know if we're feeling fancy, crab or lobster. But abalone is definitely one of those seafoods that I know that my Chinese friends like really love to eat. It's uh, the only place I've ever seen really is a Chinese restaurant on the menu. And it has a lot of meaning. I know that around like Chinese New Year, a lot of people like to eat bao yu, uh, the uh, abalone, because it looks like the old gold ingots of China, the ancient like money system. Here we go, actually. There it is, oh, look at that. Mm. Nice. What are you tasting? Salty. Yeah. Um, seafood. Hey mum, do you remember what these are called in Chinese? See you tomorrow, my shrew. Do you remember why? I do, and I don't think I should explain it. <laughs> oh, tongue. Remember the first video we did about hot pot and you tried tongue for the first time? We've come so far. We have come a long way. <laughs> He's still not used to the whole hot concept oh. coming right out of the pot though. It's not used. Oh. I've lost my tongue. Oh. There, there it is. There it is. I got it. Most recently, watching your YouTube, Papa, when when you eat food, this guy doesn't eat this. That guy doesn't eat this. Now eating food is very rare. Before eating food, eat a very small piece of the liver. Look at this. 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 To enjoy, not yeah. as a challenge. It's actually really nice seeing how far dad and mum have come in terms of how comfortable they feel eating Chinese food and eating things that they maybe haven't grown up eating. And the videos that we've been doing together have just been so much fun and actually kind of sad because today is actually going to be the last video that we film all together for quite a while because dad is about to go on a big walking trip in Western Australia. So because I'm heading to China in less than a month, I actually said goodbye to dad at the airport a couple of days ago and I potentially won't be seeing him for a year or more. So I was really, really sad. Um, Mum's still here, so I'll still be making a few more videos with her before I leave. But bye dad, I miss you already. So sad. it's sad. sad. Have you guys enjoyed doing this video uh, series with me? Yeah, it's been, it's been so much fun. So much fun. Learned <laughs> a lot. It really has been amazing. I've eaten a lot. My my taste has expanded, and you know my pain tolerance for interesting food has definitely expanded. Thank <laughs> you, Amy. For me, it's definitely been the silver lining of the whole pandemic is being able to be at home. It's been really great family time with you guys and learn together about Chinese cuisine. I myself have learned so much this year and I think going back to China, I'm so much more willing to try things that maybe I'm not comfortable, so comfortable with the idea of or that I've never tried before. It's really made me feel more comfortable eating things out of my comfort zone. Before we wrap this up, I wanted to show you guys how the cost of the meal was actually calculated because we had quite a few sticks and I was starting to feel sorry for the poor person that would have to <laughs> count up all of those sticks. Turns out there's a much easier solution. Oh, 
，差不多是一百四呃三十四块钱左右。是多少钱？用个乘以零点八九等于一百一十九块钱。一百一十九，一百。Oh, this is sad. It's time to say goodbye from all of us for the for the last time for a while. Um, thank you, mom and dad, so much for being a part of my videos for the last. Year. It's been absolutely amazing. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Um, but yeah, looking forward to one day when we can all be in China together and keep doing this fun series together. So yeah, that's it from us for now. Um, yeah, until next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.